I'm going to teach you to spin move in a low post. Pretty spin move. The keys are footwork, using your body to protect the ball. You can fade away. You can go right to the hoop. You can take them left or you can take them right. Or you can seal them off with the drop step. Brand spins against Oakley. Oh, what a play by Brand. Make sure you dribble before you move your feet. Just like that. That's what I'm talking about. Elton Brand spins baseline. Reverse slam. Whoa. Another key is to have great balance. Make sure your feet are shoulder width apart. Brand's got it. Working in the lane. Turns back baseline. Jump for a good shot by Elton Brand. Brand spins baseline. Oh. And now you know the spin move in a low post. It's Katino Mobin, and I'm Steve Francis. We're going to teach y'all today on how to throw alley -oop. First thing is communication. Communication comes in and we both make the eye contact like this. And that's when I know that Catino is ready to go back there. Alley -oop, Mowgli. The second one is timing. And in timing, what you have to do is watch your defender is going to help. That's when you go back door. Alley -oop, Mowgli. Back door play from Steve Francis. Precision passing is important when you're doing a lot. You always want to make sure the ball is just over the defender's hands, right close to the rim and make sure that your teammate is ready to bounce. Communication, timing, and precision. That is the reason why we're the top-notch alley Eupers in the game. You want to know how I'll run a team? Check it out. Point cross, get in. And what a pass from Gary Payton. As a leader, I got to show by example, going out there, playing hard every night. And he gets up. It's a wall. Kaboom! Rashard Lewis from the club. His team responds to his leadership. The young guys got to understand. They got to see what you have done, the people I play with against, the birds, the magics, the Jordans, and then they'll respect you because they know that you know what you're talking about. Two up, two up, me and you, Sheezy. Go, go. They got to understand when you get on the floor, you're very serious about the situation. You have to let them know because you are the veteran and you are the guy. Yeah! Bad, big bro. And that's what Meta Leader is about. trying, you know, being this lead, uh, be a superstar, or Michael Jordan, or something like that. I'm not trying to be that. Oh, what a move by Gary Payton! Make Seattle Supersonics be the best team they can be. He weaves his way through traffic, drives through the lane, goes to the glass, lays it in! Gary Payton is such a disruptive force on defense. If I make a bad shot or do something bad, then on the other end of the floor, I'm going to make it up by playing hard defense and getting the ball back for it. Offense is nothing to me. I don't really get off on offense. I mean, I pick my game up a little bit on offense, but I really pride myself on defense. And I think that's where I got a big advantage on a lot of people because I play both ends of the floor very hard. Here's a steal by Gary Payton. The defensive player of the year lays it in and draws the foul. Yeah. Midway. Help! Help shot! Help shot! Inside stuff with the worst thing. Gary Payton. 
Markham, my nickname is The Glove. Gary Payton, such a destructive force on defense. When I'm not playing basketball, I like to play dominoes and shoot the pool. Home player run. If I was not a basketball player, I'd probably be in a rocking chair right now. <laughs> Chilling. <laughs> the player I most admired growing up was George, the Iceman Gert. And that's 24 seconds with me, Gary Payton. <laughs>